Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on colours that you should never wear together. Now I'm sure you've all heard of the kind of classic fashion rules that you shouldn't wear black and brown together or black and navy or blue and green should never be seen and I don't agree with this at all. I think that they're pretty outdated now and I think if you know how to style them well together it can look really really good. So today's video is going to be all about how to match your clothes together so the colours complement each other and just really easy tips so that if you're in a rush in the morning you can put something together really quick and not worry about if it looks unfashionable or anything like that. So I really hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. So the first tip is to wear solid colours and by doing so it can actually make you look really expensive but picking a colour like white or beige or black and wearing it on the top and on the bottom just makes getting dressed in the morning so easy too because you know it's going to go. So this is one of my favourite tips to do if I want to look classy in a rush. Don't forget it doesn't just have to be jeans, it could be a pair of shorts or a skirt or flowy trousers and by dressing them up with your accessories you can really give the look some personality. The second tip is to switch your neutrals for metallics and this is a great tip if you feel like you're always in quite plain colours and you want to mix it up a bit. Metallics can almost act like a neutral colour themselves so don't be afraid to wear them with bright colours too like maybe a gold top with bright red trousers or you can just style them simply like I have here with these white flowy ones. I'll leave links to all of the clothes I'm showing in this video in the description too and I'm also planning on doing a video on wardrobe essentials so please subscribe if you're wanting to see that one. So the next tip I always do if I'm unsure on what to wear with a bright colour, I'll wear it with white and this is because white literally goes with anything, blue, black, orange, pink, all of them. So let's say I've got on a really bright coloured top, I'll wear white jeans or a white skirt or if you've got a red pair of shorts for example, you could wear them with a simple white top and it would look good. This is such a good tip to use when you're rushing around in the morning and you don't have time to put anything together. Matching your accessories to your outfit can be really difficult, so a little rule to myself, if I'm wearing something plain like an all white or black outfit, I'll wear a metallic bag or shoes or a really bright and colourful bag, or if I'm wearing an outfit with a lot of colour, I'll wear a neutral bag like a beige one for example, and I always find this works really well. You can also match your accessories, so the colour of your shoes to your bag, or the colour of your top and your bag, I think matching two colours looks really good. So now I'm going to talk about colour combinations, so a foolproof way of doing this is to look at a colour wheel and usually if you pick a colour, let's say orange for example, if you choose to wear it with a colour from the opposite side of the chart, the colours will go together well. So I've picked a dark blue and a denim jacket to go with the orange and you can see that they complement each other and you can also do this with any colours too, so yellow and blue or green and red and this is the orange and blue outfit on and personally I I really like this look. I don't feel like you have to stick to a solid colour either. You could have a blue pattern with the orange top and things like denim jackets add the colour blue but it's a different texture and adding different textures in is a great way to build on your outfit as well. Pastel colours also work together really well, so a pastel pink skirt with a pastel blue top like I'm wearing here, anything in the pastel family will work together, and also with blue denim too, I love those looks. Another way to match your clothes would be to wear an outfit made up of all one colour but different shades of it. So here I'm wearing a turquoise shirt with a pair of dark blue shorts. They're both shades of blue but they don't look the same and you can see how they complement each other. It's a really easy way of colour matching and this tip honestly works for me every time. 
think brown can be quite a difficult colour to style, so I mostly wear it with white or black, and I really love how that looks. There are no rules in fashion, just wear what makes you happy. I'm just putting these tips out there to help you if you're stuck on what to wear. Please don't feel like I'm telling you what to wear because that is not my intention. If everyone dressed the same, then that would be so boring. <laughs> And then the last thing I wanted to touch on was styling patterns. I think these can be so difficult as well. So if I'm wearing something patterned, I'll usually wear it with something plain. And it doesn't have to be a plain colour like beige. I just mean not another pattern. I think mixing patterns can look amazing, but it can be so hard to do. So again, that's just another really easy tip to use if you're not sure what to wear with something patterned. I've said patterned a lot, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So that is it everyone, I really hope you liked this video and that it helped you. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it did because I would love that so much. I really enjoy making these videos and your support just means a lot to me. So have a great day and I'll speak to you all in my next one. Bye guys!